Which I just think it was my fault. Okay, that should yeah. be good. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Prompt. Right. This is Or this is prompt. Or time. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> Delays. So we're wearing these. Yes, check out that podcast. Yes. So we're wearing these because, um, one, it's a simulation. We want to make it really real. Right. Um, suspension of disbelief. Look that up. Thank you, Dr. Michael. And um, in the operating room, you need to talk and be able to project without a mask, with a mask. Um, so I think it's good practice. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me. You guys should be able to. I talk loud enough. Yeah. Can you guys hear me well? Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Waves. Well, too late now. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this started. All right. So we can um. You can I'll show you. We'll bring in the patient. Yeah. yeah. So you know you've rolled your patient in. Okay. Um, right here. We usually what we tell them is okay. Oh, major key. Untie. 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 Make sure you untie as we're moving over to this bed. Okay. So you say, oh, do you have any tied underneath um, your butt or anything like that? Do you have any undergarments on? Mm -hmm. um, also, when you wheel them in, a lot of places will have the patient say who they are. They'll review, do another safety check, the allergies again. And then so you raise the bed up, um, line them up, have them move over. Um, sometimes it's, again, you want to be careful with how much first aid you give them. They might just need your help. Feel like, yeah, exactly. Need help. Um, so we've gotten them over there, and now you start hooking your monitors up. Okay. All right. So the first thing that I'm gonna hook up is O2 Pro, and it's going to go on maybe their ring finger or their tongue because you don't want them to scratch their eyes um, with it if it's on there. And All right. then we're also trying to get what their baseline oxygen is. Put a blood pressure cuff on, and this might be tied on the first go around. And I'm just gonna cycle it for every three minutes. Cycle my blood pressure, and the EKG leads are already on, but we're gonna put them on. Also, get a baseline EKG strip. All right. And so I want preceptor that. in the background doing okay. what preceptors do. All right. <laughs> so once that's done, we're gonna make sure that every we have appropriate settings for our patient. So we're going to change that. And so up here, guys, we have um, a patient on the board, kind of what we do in simulation. Um, so today we have a patient named Susan Lee. This is all made up. Um, she's here for a total vaginal hysterectomy. It's going to be open. Allergies to penicillin, and her weight is 100 kilograms, just so you guys know. Um, so now I'm putting this mask on her face, and the reason why I'm doing this is we're trying to denitrogenate de and increase her um, with an FRC. Yeah, I'm trying not to keep you see. No, yeah, you, no, you're okay. Right. <laughs> okay. You, don't, you don't have to like act like you're teaching me to just go through. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So it all acts like your preceptor at this point, um, right. especially early on in the early stages. 